Hello everyone. Today we are going to create a value scale. So for your assignment, you are going to use a half sheet of paper is just fine. And you are going to write the word value scale. Then below that you are going to make a rectangle by creating two long horizontal lines. And then we want to make seven spaces. So I'm going to connect this end. And because I have a ruler, I'm going to just make one inch spaces using my ruler to mark it. And then I'm going to close my shape at the end. Now all of these vertical lines are going to go straight up. Remember this is just a practice. Whoops. So if you make a few mistakes, if it's not perfect and it's not straight, that's okay. Do the best you can. If you don't have a ruler, remember we can always use the edge of a book or anything else that you have that has straight edges. Um, sorry about my awkwardness. I'm a little bit off here and crooked, but that's only because I am trying to work around the cord of my webcam. All right, so let's write down here, light. And let's write over here, dark. And right in the very middle is going to be your mid-tone. So I like to start with my lightest and then work my way to my darkest. Um, one reason is as you're drawing or writing, when you drag your hand across it, you get your pencil all over your hand. Um, another reason is I think it's easier to darken things up than it is to lighten things up. So if you notice, I'm holding my pencil at the end of my pencil and I'm just going to create really light, light, light lines. I'm just letting my pencil basically drag across the page, trying to create my lightest value. Now, anything that I get outside of my box, that's okay. I can always go back and clean it up later with an eraser. Okay, so now my next box, I'm gonna do the same thing, holding my pencil lightly but I'm going to kind of go back and forth, adding a second layer as I work across my box. So see how I keep moving back and forth? I go down and then I go back up. Now you don't wanna make it too dark too fast. Um, so we're basically adding layer upon layer. we make our next value. Okay, so for the next one, <clears throat> same thing, but again, you might want to apply a little bit more pressure to start making that change. When you get to the end, if you find that you have boxes that look very similar or kind of blend together. You don't see the difference between the two. You can always go back in and add another layer of pencil. Remember, start out light until you get it right. So same thing applies here. You want to start light. You can always add a light layer on top if you need it to be darker. Okay, so then my next box. This will be my mid-tone. So this is like middle of the road, not too dark, not too light. If I were to draw with my pencil, it should be pretty close to my mid-tone. Now, sometimes it's nice to go in a different direction. So as you're moving across your page, making your darker values, if you go in two directions, you're gonna help eliminate a lot of those lines that you see when you're drawing. 
So I like to start out in one direction and then swap to a new direction. See how I'm getting some patchiness in mine? It's because I'm not applying um, perfectly even pressure in some spots. I have it a little bit darker. It could also be maybe that something is on my page. It's maybe preventing it from being a smooth value. That might happen. It's okay. All right, so we're getting to our darkers. So now I'm going to start applying more pressure. So see, I don't know what's happening there. It's like heavy pencils coming up. So I'm still using the side of my pencil. Using the side of the tip actually is a nice way of eliminating lines. Instead of using the very tip of your pencil, you use more of the side of your pencil. So now I have three directions. So I went up and down, I went at an angle, and now I'm gonna go side to side. Okay, and my last one is going to be my absolute darkest. So I'm just going to continue to darken up that value. The whole box is going to be dark, so I'm going to use heavier pressure. But again, if it's not dark enough, you just add some more layers of pencil on top. So I'm going to kind of outline my box and then fill it in. So once I have the base down, I'm going to go in the other direction again. And go side to side. Now, I think I could even get darker, but because I'm trying to make it a gradual change, I'm not going to go super duper dark, but I probably could get this even darker. Um, so maybe... If I wanted to, I could darken up some of these values, but I think I got it pretty good. So we have the lightest, the next, the next, and as we go up, it starts to get a little bit darker. So this is what you're going to be doing today. Um, hopefully you can handle it and you can use either a pencil, you can use colored pencils, or you can use paint. Now the difference if you're using paint to get lighter values, you're going to start out with your main color here. Light values, you're going to add white. So you'll put your main color here, add a touch of white, and put that here. Add a touch of white to your color and go here. Another touch of white to your color and go here. And then over on this side, you would add a touch of black to get a little bit darker. Another touch of black to get a little darker. And the last one would have more black. Um, remember with black, it changes your color very, very fast. So remember to use a very small amount if you're going to use paint um, when you're adding black to your color. Um, you don't want to all of a sudden go from your main color to black. So you want to make sure that you gradually add a really tiny bit of black to it. All right. Um, I look forward to seeing your values. Do the best you can. If you're using colored pencils, I do suggest using just one color and adjusting the pressure that you're putting on it rather than trying to change up and find all the different colors in the value scale. All right. Thanks so much for joining me.